Everyone look at the mirror behind me. <laughs> What's up, doers? Welcome back to another episode of the Deuces podcast. Um, I know you missed our beautiful faces, but guess what? It's been what? a while. We have two mics now. We have stands. Yep. Oh, you can talk. Oh, oh I thought you were. We were just we got our stuff together. We're, you're here, and we filled the stands. Brought a new fire under us. Yeah, we do have a new fire. We have so much fun things popping up for us. On the there we go again. We do. <laughs> we do. Saying. We do. And um, I'm like the saying for me personally. I have been manifesting a lot lately, and things has. are popping up. We're That's all I'm going to say. So be on yeah, the lookout Kara's for my... Yeah, Kara's been popping. I She's am. got some things going on. Yeah. She's got some email she's received. Yeah, I got and, some um, email, some little It just some takes little, one, bro. We're getting there. Yeah, exactly. So um, be on the lookout for my socials, especially on my TikTok, Undiscovered Thirst. Mm-hmm. That's where people are um, discovering my thirst. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And um, what happened to your what's popping thing? Oh, I really need to get into that. Yeah, you, did, a, you literally didn't follow me back on Instagram, so I unfollowed you. <laughs> oh, I... I, mean, I, I was go. like, how did she not see my name pop up and think to follow me back? <laughs> no, I need to get back on the What's Poppin' podcast um, and get really down. I know there's literally one picture on Instagram. Yeah, it was a whole, but it was a, it was a different, it was a different Instagram before I changed it. Oh, I see, I see. To the Poppin' podcast, which I need to really need to set down. I have a, I have a lot of things that I need to do, so. Thank you. But we're going on um, again. Like we didn't even say. Well, I'm Janelle. When you were host, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Right in, but um, oh, oh. we're also um, in my apartment. We're yes. not in our studio today. No, we are at Janelle's lovely, quaint little place. Well, it's not little actually. Quaint. quaint. I love that word. <laughs> quaint. <laughs> yeah. It's lovely. Um, yeah, because we just had some stuff to do in San Antonio today, and yeah, stuff, so, we brought, so we brought the pot. That's the good thing about us to use this podcast. If you ever want us on your podcast, we, are we mobile. come to you. We're mobile. We're mobile. We got. Mm-hmm. We're gonna come to you. Um, but yeah, the last two weeks we have been pod only, but we're back on video. And today's an excited episode. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and do a quick little recap, sis. Um, what did you do this weekend? This well, we, I guess you could say the past two weeks because we've been out. Oh yeah, um, I mean, mine doesn't change. <laughs> I don't even remember what I did last weekend. To be I honest. had COVID again for the third time. Oh, was it last week? Yeah, last week I got COVID. I just got over it. What did I do? I don't know. I feel like you did something. Did you go, go home to mom and dad? No, I mean, no, because no, last Saturday I was sick, so I don't know. Mm. I know mom and dad watched um, Londo last Friday, but what was I doing? I don't know, because Tony went with daddy to the game on Saturday. Yes, on Saturday. Um, so, oh, last Saturday, to, yeah, last Saturday <laughs> I went with my mom and, oh, no, oh, last weekend I didn't do nothing. Thing. Yeah, last weekend I did, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Last weekend, I did just hang out with my mom and goodies. So we went to mm-hmm. a bunch of thrift stores and mm-hmm. got like some cute decor and pictures, mm-hmm. frames and stuff like that. And then on Sunday, um, we just chilled to watch the football game. But yeah, that's what happened last weekend. Yeah, I was sick, miserable. Um, mm-hmm. So nothing to report there. But um, like I said, I guess I can go to this weekend because I did something. I did hang <laughs> out with my little sis, Chris. We did a little K&K day. I know. They literally didn't even invite you. You were not home. I know. I had, pl- I had quote unquote plans already. You but didn't like, have quote unquote. You did, did have plans. <laughs> but they didn't invite me to say, oh, hey, I think we're going to go do something. Well, okay. In her defense, though, I wasn't planning. I used to just like hit me up. Like, oh, yeah. It's she's a, doing her you know, self-care It's an yesterday. honor when Carissa hits you up on her own because she doesn't like talking to us. So when I used to call, I answer, you know? Like, yeah. Well, I guess I had a colored that's my dryer oh i was like <laughs> i have a me... colored theme party to or I yeah <laughs> little, i have a colored theme party like I the mean, ones on I, I wasn't done with my recap oh sorry this is okay go ahead I, we can just bounce off each other go ahead okay <laughs> i thought you were finished because i knew oh but i guess you heard the dryer stop anyways yeah. but it was a surprise party for um our friend and he well, again yeah, it was a surprise party we all dressed up like as a color so it was like the ones you see on tiktok everybody drinks like snacks and drinks and it's the color um and i was red rojo you looked super cute thank you thank you i wanted to go to one of those one day yeah it was it's a cute it was like a simple party but it was like cute what enough. did you bring in your red basket tony only brought two snacks i was like embarrassing um he brought hot cheetos and then some other thing in a red basket have, and there's then Ciroc. so many there's red so many things. red. he's just being lazy as always there's and red, big red like red flash yeah it was like skittles twizzlers hot tamales there's a bunch of stuff there's so much you could have but done. He, you, you should have did it yeah but i was trying i was getting ready and then he was going to the store and then we had to go pick up the cake and stuff 
Um, so I think he was just like, I just grabbed the first two red things because we were already running behind and we were running behind. But yeah, that's what I did yesterday. And on Friday, we went again to go drink with some friends. Oh my God, my dryer again. It's letting you know we're done. Thank you, dryer. And that's about <laughs> it. And now we're chilling. We're going to go to the movies to see that new Viola Davis movie. Yeah, I'm excited. It's, it should be good. It has 100% of Rotten Tomatoes. And I'm assuming <laughs> it's for a reason. But Me and Kaysa were talking about you at our little lunch dinner oh. thing and how we were like, we will never forgive Janelle. For making us leave the chain smoker concert because you oh. were sick because you we were like you know talking reminiscing uh, and yeah. like your guys who was like i'm like really upset i had a good reason i no 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 <laughs> like you did have a good reason and you were really sick but That's like, so random no because we were talking about how hard that album went the chain smokers oh, memories yeah. whatever album and we were guys so was like you know what I'm actually mad at you. We literally left my favorite song they performed. We left while they performing. Which it. one was yours? New York City. Oh New yeah. New York City. That one I love yeah, that song. We were But I heard I heard enough of it to where I got it out of my system. Yeah. I mean I think I played the songs that we liked, but still it was just like every song on the album was so great. That yeah, we liked that. But we were literally talking about like Man, we're mad at Kesa. And I did say when um I'm literally 0 for three in my um No, that's so funny that you're talking about me because me guys are talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> when we were like or like we don't a bit go check drive. it go turn it off <laughs> i know i need to move my clothes over before we leave but um no i mean guys are saying i was like care can't be trusted we're not giving her when taylor swift releases her no, tickets no 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 me and I don't care. Really, it's funny you were saying about the taylor swift tickets because that's what that's what brought it up because i was telling Gaysa, like i am going to prove i can do it i am oh, going because unless you're what if you're in office that day like i'm the only one out of the three of us i can literally like sit on my phone thing, yeah. like t- refreshing 24 7 see i mean it's, it's the same thing we're like for that concert like we're all gonna try yeah like, so we it's were not just literally you. just talking about the concert how i was like i'm literally over three and i promise i won't i won't let you down i know we all said we're gonna do it anyways and if she doesn't get her ticket that's okay <laughs> because i was like that's we have to go we have to go like, we were just wait ha- next to her manager said yeah i don't know for what album? i think she's gonna do like a big obviously midnight i'm sure is a big part because that's her album coming out but because she's re-recording a lot of her old stuff i feel like we can get a lot of old yeah stuff. i don't know that's what i was saying too i was like i don't know if it'd be like the midnight tour or if it would just be taylor swift tour because technically now they're all her own songs or whatever that'd be really fun i'm like super like i'm not I a know, swifty I'm super, at all but like, i am i'm a, so excited to see what the new album brings just a collab with lalda right i want to know how that I was going to say we should do like we'll a listening see. party. Yeah, to see what it goes Speaking of party, I don't Midnight. think we're going to go. <laughs> you come and pick me up, no headlights. So I think that was a little higher than needed to be. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> okay, go. Sorry. What were you saying? That's what I'm doing when I can't think about you and I. Been running a few times. Okay, um, no, I was saying we should do like a listening party. But no, the speaking of parties that might not happen, it might be just me and you. Because I don't think Ace is going to come to the Hocus Pocus viewing party. Oh, why? Because I think that's Cameron's birthday. And she's like, I'm trying to be a good friend. Oh, it's like, number 30th? Yeah, which would be fun. Honestly, let's be. I mean, Ace is, she, her present is fun, but let's be honest. <laughs> it would have just been us two. She wouldn't be helping decorate. She wouldn't help anyway. Uh-huh. Um, but yeah, that's a little tidbit. A um, little fun banter. <laughs> yes. But no, yeah. Um, today's episode, I'm super excited about because we are talking about my favorite season. And sorry, this is now that we, we literally have mics, so you don't touch it. I know, but there's something on the mic side. Oh. Yeah. Um, that was a very long intro. I say that almost every single episode, <laughs> but it's okay. And it was funny because that wasn't even long. It was maybe like a minute or two. It was not a minute or two. How long has it been on there? Okay, maybe we get 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes. That was a 10 minute tangent. But um, so today we are, since obviously fall is in about 10 days. Yeah, I think no, when this episode comes out. in 10 days. No, when this episode comes out, fall already happened. Yeah, fall because already happened. Because 22nd, uh, fall, first day of fall, it's it's technically is 20, September 22nd. 22nd. Yeah. 22nd. Is it September 22nd? 22nd. So it'll already be fall by this point, which is perfect episode to get you guys ready. Let's fall into fall. Yeah, spring has fallen. Uh, I mean, summer has fallen. No, but. Summer um, flew by. It did fly by. So um, we have a bunch of stuff planned for October on our podcast. So we are going to just kind of kind of dip our full dip our feet into the pool if you would mm-hmm. say i'm um, not plunge right in and into fall episode today yeah and i've been telling janelle and literally everybody that like will hear me talk that i have a good feeling that it's going to be cold this year mm-hmm. i told I, you that too did, did you yeah i did oh, but it's okay okay but i, I agree <laughs> with you so you agree you think it's gonna be really cold oh, oh. 
okay we didn't, i don't know if you're going for the original uh, yeah or, but okay. we, were there, there. we were there we were there but no like you know i really at least where we are listening if you guys are listening in like southern states texas all that stuff like i really feel like it's gonna be really cold like not really mm-hmm. cold but like 70 60s i i i feel like it's getting, yeah. it's getting cooler yeah it's definitely the temperatures are dropping yeah and i um, love it in the morning it's it has like a little uh, okay a brisk is is being a little generous <laughs> it's not brisk it's cool it's cool like yeah. it doesn't feel humid doesn't feel hot it actually feels like a good 75 degrees 74 yeah. degrees yeah. and then at night it's bearable to be outside as well it's not like dying hot at night either so we're like hmm, maybe this is just a little intro into like maybe what you know the winter might bring hopefully. yeah a hundred percent i just say how it's cold in like freaking march i'm like w- what's going on yeah yeah but you know i have a good feeling like the way it's looking i'm not a meteorologist or anything so i don't know mm-hmm. what's going on with the clouds a but weather map. you know but um i want to say yeah <laughs> not going on with the clouds <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i think it's gonna be really cold this summer and so that's like what's getting us really like good with fall things so go ahead and just kick it off would yeah you? so we're gonna talk about things that we love and hate about fall overrated things yeah things we do love things we're looking forward to but not getting into detail because again we do have more detailed episodes coming in october um so just to go with the fall into it a little bit uh, i'm just kidding um i personally vibes. i guess i will go ahead and start okay good with the obvious the fall. <laughs> <laughs> i mean either i'm just going off the dome um that's how we do things here um Oh, here it goes. I always forgot. Oh, no, I got it. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, you know what's funny? Remember, like, how we used to, like, do segments? Stop, stop. And then now we just flow. Yeah, we used to do segments. <laughs> um, but we came a long way. And when we started fighting the first episode, you didn't want to do segments. You did not want to make it segments. We don't need to talk about the wrongs. And that's exactly what we ended up doing. Because I was right. I'm just saying. No, mm. but okay. So to, go <laughs> to, so to go into the episode, I'm going to say, I think the best thing or one of the, my favorite things about fall slash the winter season. Who can I guess? guess. I just want to guess the fashion. Yeah. Girl, you know like my sister. It's like I know you or anything. Uh, <laughs> no, it's I just, definitely the fashion. Yeah, it's I, just top tier. Like for the belly community, the fall is the best because you're not showing your belly every time. It's not crop top, you know, which is fine. Like wear what you want, but like fall fashion as well. Like I love like the browns, like the nudes, the nudes. Mm-hmm. The sw- I'm a sweater sweater. I'm a sweater girl. I love myself a cardigan. Oh, like, your cardigan. I, I love a cardigan because it's like a cute little like little zizwa. You know what I mean? A what? <laughs> just as a wall. How do you say it? a little just as a wall? Just as a wall? You know what I'm talking about? A little just as a wall. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I, okay, I think I don't know what you're talking about, but it's you know? not that. <laughs> a little solo shikwa or something. Yeah, something yeah. shikwa. Oh my god. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, a little, I know what a little spice. How about that? A little extra <laughs> spice. <laughs> For just as a wall. Just as a spice. Um, I think it's like, sh- anyways, okay. No, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Um, je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> Hello, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> that sounds fun to say but no yeah i love the fall again like the nude i just think look beautiful on every skin tone and everyone just has their own you know depiction of how they dress for the fall some Mm -hmm. like the sporty look with like the puffer vest and jeans and like the dunks and then some people go for more of like the the rider boots the riding boots with mini skirts and kind of vibe um i personally am really the fall i don't know what's going on maybe i'm just getting older but i'm again like i was telling kara over (coughs) most of the time a baddie look so oh, you, I, yeah you've been saying that this year i really have been yeah. even though i do again wear them sometimes when i go to the club and stuff yeah but i for the fall am obsessed with like old 1990s like ralph lauren yeah but old you money are vibe like but that's an my, old money girly i wish uh, like, that's that's my whole persona yeah. is old money and yeah. i love it if you could see my place it's old money like Did decor yeah it's right, right there. there it's right there um, so, like, when it comes to the fall fashion, i just been, like, on Pinterest and on TikTok and just looking at old Ralph Lauren. Um, not the old, like, grandma, grandpa-looking vibes, but if you look at some of their old catalogs, you would see, like, the beautiful models or with, like, like are the you sweater like vest. vest. I was about to say, like, the sweater vest, the long sleeve with, like, dainty gold jewelry, like, these kind of nails, but, like, in the red and, like, yeah, like and super gold, like, earring, like, super, like, very oh that scared me you heard that no oh uh <laughs> no i didn't hear that but yeah super like with nice like um what are they called 
they're not like slacks you wear in the office but that material like yeah yeah the, you know uh. those are really in now so i love like h&m has good ones for those and just like kind of that vibe with like, like it's not linen but yeah what you're talking about. but like the long coats and like the scarves like the like a little beret hats like i'm just like yeah, so into that fashion for fall now even though it does not get that cold at all but you I'm can still live on my fantasy yeah but you can just find like a lighter version yeah like a thinner thing but i see what you mean like i'm i've always been like not like old money like how you and but like that's always been like my vibe like mm-hmm. i've never um one well, i never wear baddie looks but you know <laughs> <laughs> um I, I mean i could i just never found, i just haven't found my style but like with fall like like this year i thought i was gonna do like spooky nails but i kind of don't want to i want to be more of a classic mm-hmm like not you keep saying fall we have another word like that time of year it's what was it falls oh, fall oh. nail like you keep saying it like can yeah we, we're, we're in fall today okay yeah we uh. are really embracing this season because this mm-hmm. is my favorite time of the year because it kicks off the fun time before we have to go back into like well you know what I mean? heat yeah Ugh. exactly and like i'm excited like i also love the food during mm-hmm. fall like i'm a sweets girl like, i love cinnamon baked goods mm-hmm. like i love a chili like oh my god i love chili oh chili i, love, I chili. love chili i never make it but i just always you like should. it it's not it's like it's just like a crock pot meal well that too but like i feel like we don't make chili a lot because it's not cold outside and when you want to make a chili oh, soup. see i don't care i eat soup in no the yeah 100 degree weather it's the same thing yeah but i was I gonna make saying, one but it feels good some to nice have cornbread because i love me i love me a, some cornbread, and chili. cornbread yeah i agree with kara with the spices like fall is totally cinnamon season i'm anything cinnamon anything caramel oh, i will no. eat and i just i love it anything cinnamon cinnamon's my go-to flavor for like anything sweet so obviously in the fall it's like amplified for yeah. like cinnamon and oh i just love cinnamon. snickerdoodle my favorite cookie oh yeah snickerdoodle so the snickerdoodle hot chocolate from starbucks is euphoric did you like my coffee image yeah it's, i tasted the spice Oh, did you? It's right here. Yeah. It's very pumpkin-y. And so I put a little bit, and I add, add a little bit of cinnamon with a little bit of nitro. I taste, I taste the cinnamon. And I put a little nitro. <laughs> I taste it. <laughs> um, some nitro foam. Foam, I So saw. it gives you more like of a, uh, what's it called? Awakeness? You know what I mean? Awakeness. Yeah. Awakeness. What's a, I don't know what the word is. I that don't, sounds funny. I don't know. But yeah, definitely the sweets, the care strudels the pumpkin pie see that's something i don't i'm gonna make my, you a pumpkin pie make me because pumpkin pie. i like because i, I don't, think I don't know if it's because mind. i've gotten older i do like pumpkin more because my mom does not liking it as a child but like when you're a kid like your taste buds are very immature yeah pumpkin as a kid just doesn't even like i don't think i don't think i've ever seen kids i mean kids might eat pumpkin pie but like, like a pumpkin soup sounds yummy pumpkin soup yeah that's gross uh, you know what i guess no, pumpkin isn't Pumpkin's only a made food. i was gonna say isn't only made for like sweets but yeah, thinking of pumpkin and, like with chicken is gross like pumpkin vegetables really good see that's one my downfalls of fall downfalls at <laughs> <laughs> how many puns we make today okay literally um is i'm not like a huge lover of pumpkin i only eat it just to feel festive see i as i've gotten older like i said i I grew to appreciate it like before i was just like ew like pumpkin. what are the benefits <laughs> since it's a vegetable i don't know it's in the what's Some the, vitamins. it's a it's a what kind of vegetable is it i know it's it's, it's in part the of squash, squash family, family. <laughs> same thing same thing part of the squash the family the family that's what he said <laughs> disney my friends because we're disney girlies yeah um, not disney adults disney girlies disney girlies yeah we're not disney adults um but no um yeah i guess i don't know what the benefits are but it's just like you know that's just we're going well are we going to pumpkin patch next week is that still yeah, on the plan so okay go. um because i want to make some pumpkins like thanks to roll it into the next one we could talk about the fall activities yes 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 okay yes, yes. i love fall <laughs> <laughs> Ew, imagine the fall activities are ew. fall activities we're just making up our own words the fall activities fall are activities. just that's the key we should we should do that fall activities let's, let's, let's start that fall yeah. activities do the do uses fall, fall activities. activities yeah definitely copyright the, the most or, basic obviously is the pumpkin patch again i oh my bitch. god my whole button i hope out. it has been like that the entire time <laughs> <laughs> do you want to tie for nudity <laughs> oh my gosh imagine uh but no that i would actually don't. require people a lot of people watching us <laughs> fact is like what the 30 people at. no but um 
I one thing I don't like about fall is I don't like carving pumpkins. I hate it. I hate the mess. I hate the stickiness. I hate I the think smell. You Everything about need it. I hate to it. Do it again with a with better tools to where it doesn't. It's not a hassle. Yeah, you need like I an know. actual real one. We should. You should do it. You should try a, one more time. I'm a painter. I'm a pumpkin painter. I love those no, because you, you have get, to wait for everything to dry. To but you can also things. be super creative. But then while you're doing that, you can work on another fall project and then go back. Mm. That's what I was gonna I do. I love a good. Po- I like carving. I just don't have. I'm not good at it. <laughs> so it's just the same old smiley face yeah, one tooth all I can only do is like the, the two triangle, triangle eyes <laughs> <laughs> Me too, that's I like think, the easiest I one to I do I think I tried to do like something different and like I carved too much so it collapsed so it was the big hole oh. so I just made it into like a, a face or some shit like that yeah like I can't and once you mess up you're, you're done yeah but I think Derek and you're I are done <laughs> <laughs> yeah Derek and I have such a cute little like fall activities to plan for like you know we'll, we'll get into like the ha- Halloween stuff but mm-hmm. um, like you know just like, like, we're going to a pumpkin patch we're going to carve pumpkins I, I want to do apple stuff. picking I think I there's one in I Austin there is one in Austin I think on my way over here driving the mm-hmm. back roads it was like pumpkin patch and apple orchard I oh think. apple orchard i love the apple picking i think it's so make, fun I make apple jaw apple jacks apple sauce apple juice i want to do um i want to go yeah oh yeah the apple sauce apple juice um i don't know how to make apple juice that sounds kind of hard but um i want to go back to the same pumpkin patch that me and tony had our first date at and Where? bring Londo. I don't remember. I think it was in Helotus. Oh. Um, there's like a big one. There's like a, a hayride and there's like a petting zoo, all this stuff. And that was Tony me in first date, even though we don't have a picture of that. That was our very first date. I could I have sworn be. you did, but I might have just been on your story. Yeah, I think it was just my Snapchat story at the time. But um, no, we have one of us at the aquarium. That was our second first date basically but anyways um and i want to take londo there but like all like full circle like that's where he is but i want to see how he does at a pumpkin patch i'm Um, trying to think what other fall activities that you can actually do besides pumpkin patch and pumpkin patch apple picking pumpkin carving a lot aside from baking yeah like um, campfires um i saw i I saw a whole thing on instagram and i wanted to do it but i was like i know i have a fall bucket list but it's like drink apple cider it's oh, like, yeah, that could be small like when do people drink apple cider regularly like, they don't i think i'm gonna post it in our on our instagram like my mm-hmm. fall bucket list that i'm gonna do that's not like halloween but it's like a fall bucket list i can't tell if it's i can't see i have glasses i on. know but i can't i think it's clear <laughs> hold on just talk um but yeah oh, like so that fall activities are always so fun again and if you live somewhere where there's actual seasons i'm so jealous because i remember as a kid me and Kara were talking about when we lived in virginia the most beautiful place i think we've ever lived and on our field trips when we go to the pumpkin patch and the stuff it was I actual hope it's clear i can't see that far I thought you just went up to chat i did but like i can't tell if it's changed or not i don't have my glasses keep talking anyways so we used to live in virginia and um that was obviously they actually had real season so it was so beautiful to actually see like the green and red and yellow and orange like in real time not like ours where we live now that would be happening like in february the leaves would be orange so it's just beautiful to actually like drive down the road and just see all the actual colors and the trees forests and stuff no it's it's starting to get like that like outside (laughs) bitch one tree they are bright green (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah i think um also about i mean I, the more i'm dating you know someone that actually into football football season's a big oh, deal in yeah, the fall, fall like you know hosting like some kickoff parties <laughs> with my no friends <laughs> <laughs> you and Derek. Um, yeah, yeah no football is obviously a huge part of the fall and eventually you'll be part of our what's something overrated do you feel for fall yeah like what's something like if you see okay. like girl <sighs> this is gonna sound <laughs> so hypocritical <laughs> but just the fall itself is overrated i feel sometimes <laughs> because it's what? just like i, I that sounded Please so stupid it. what no, i mean no, by no, that no, is no, like no, no. i see i know what you're saying like, i think it's overrated in the sense because it's like every bitch loves spooky nights every bitch loves um we're gonna wear so- cute like, socks and no paint pop- there, there's no yeah there's no like originality it's kind of like what else like it's like christmas like it's already set for you yeah but like, you because know, some people are like oh i kind of like the fall i don't like the fall i'm more like summer blah blah, blah like and it's just like every bitch loves fall and pajamas and cozy and painting pumpkins scary movie nights and making so those cookies so overrated. fall is overrated but it's because it's just so fun and, and beautiful a good yeah, time i, I can it see why it's you know so what I'm saying? Saying, like i don't know what it shoot. is about i don't know if it's because for the past two years technically coming off a pandemic it has something to do with this pandemic but I, but I feel like 
everything's so heightened if that makes sense like every like for some reason this year like yeah, it halloween does feel a lot is like more amplified yeah like and, halloween and halloween TikTok. halloween like, you know what that's TikTok what it is the past two years wasn't doing what you short for halloween this year that wasn't a thing on tiktok last year you know yeah. what i mean and same thing like what i wore last year what you should wear yeah, it's like, like i feel like it's so like especially halloween this year it's like really like spooky spooky like it's like in your face in this your year face, isn't very it in or your is that face just me? no it's definitely in your face which is fine because i love halloween yeah halloween. and like i said all the costume ideas and all that stuff like i just feel I like, like this other one okay right there ow i don't know why i said ow i don't think you can see it but i'm just saying you for your personal you don't have to stab yourself chill um, there you go oh okay well i feel like i was stuck in there but anyways that's what i do feels a little <sighs> overrated the whole idea of fall but i understand why it's overrated if it's that just makes a fun sense time because yeah it's like it's the time where family come for the most part gets together mm -hmm. like if you have like friendsgiving it's just like th this the end of the year is just always so like it goes by so fast it's there's fast, so much activities fun. that's happening like usually for the most part unless you're just like an evil person everyone's in a great mood yeah the happy holiday season yeah oh, i'm so excited but also holidays. it's just i the reason why i love fall besides all that stuff is if you did live somewhere normal the weather is the best weather because it's bearable to be outside all the time to do those activities mm -hmm. um but it does get cold so you get the you know the feel of like oh i need to bring a jacket I, I need to put a brisk. sweatshirt on yeah i literally feel bad for the people that's never like left texas yeah. to understand that feeling to like have an i mean texas has its days but it texas doesn't have a like, season a nice fall it's either hot or freezing to where you're like you don't want to be outside that's why i don't like winter because it's miserable to be outside like to do anything outside i have to be like 16 layers and then even then you're hot and then when you go indoors take them all off because it's freaking hot yeah. but like fall you don't have to worry about that because like, you just have a cute little sweater like one little leather jacket little sweater some leggings yeah like a nice little leather jacket and then even when you go out like at night <laughs> i love to how the, they call fall the what's it called the christian mom weather the christian mom oh, outfits yeah well i mean with the cardigans <laughs> <laughs> no but um you know because even when you go out with like your friends at with night my hat i'm gonna make my hat i'm work. literally talking i'm sorry i decided to think about that you made you, made a hat at work no i'm gonna make my hat work <laughs> oh make your hat work i was like what are you gonna make it at work no yeah i just need to put that out there because i know i hear you guys judge me for my hat i don't hate the hat i just think the hat i think the season's done like that used to be a big thing and now i feel like nobody wears them anymore i a lot of people do i see a lot of people do. oh well maybe not around these parts of town <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm gonna be a trendsetter maybe and bring it back in this area but anyways i was saying because like even when you go out with your friends at night or like anything um it's like annoying to like carry a jacket with you to like the bars and clubs and then you sometimes oh, people forget when it's cold outside? yeah when it's freezing outside and then he's like we'll just drink enough so you don't feel the cold it's like you're still sometimes cold you don't want to drink that much yeah that's what i'm saying so that's what's annoying about the winter time but that's again the fall is like the perfect little mix of both yeah that's that we how don't it's get. supposed to be yeah and it's, it's just, just like the, i mean that's what a season is <laughs> <laughs> it's just like so nice like it's just as i said the vibes are there the people are there the the colors like everything about it that time period mm -hmm. and i can see what you're saying like it's overrated um on on it because like it's like everybody yeah, do you know what i'm saying no, I like see, i know what you mean i know what you mean but i don't care i, I still love it <laughs> but i don't know i guess i, I I'll really what's have your to, favorite fall thing to watch like hold on i was about to say i was gonna amplify on what you said about oh, the okay. feel the energy mm -hmm. of just the world which mm -hmm. is like really funny it's just it shifts just every everybody's in a good mood and yeah. everybody loves just to, to oh. buy decor and just, i can <laughs> cannot wait to walk through the store and go I hear them sleigh bell ringling, jing jing, ling a ling, to ting a ling. I cannot wait. Sleigh ride together, ride together with you. <laughs> get it up, get it up. Get yeah, it up. I, I just I'm love so those excited vibes. for that time. I, just, I love. We're, we're not talking about Christmas. I know. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just talking about. Good, go off, I'm just going off it. the good vibes. Like okay, everything. Okay, but back to what you're saying about movies to watch. Okay, what's your good thing? Let's say let's say one more thing negative because these have all been positive and we said likes and dislikes. Is there anything negative about it? Well, I said I don't like pumpkin. I don't like the overrated of yeah. it um i guess i don't like um i mean it's okay to not have I'm trying to think, do i not like what do i know <laughs> trying to force myself to hate something I'm trying to, yeah i'm trying to think like if something negative like something that is overrated about it i 
actually i don't know i don't really think there's i thought we were gonna come in this like oh that's so we didn't come prepared but i felt like i thought i would get something overrated um maybe send off in the comments let us know what's something overrated and about fall if if anything somebody's gonna put like maple leaves something and we're like oh like yeah maple like, leaves <laughs> those are overrated <laughs> you know, man everyone about. talks about maple leaves <laughs> <laughs> i love me good maple syrup um, <laughs> but you know what i guess maybe i could say that something's not like my fave is thanksgiving certain. no what i was saying is that people who say people have told me because i don't like thanksgiving i'm trying to be picky like oh, of course you don't like thanksgiving because everybody That's likes thanksgiving so funny because i feel like it's the complete opposite people who try to say thanksgiving the fair holiday it's like you're lying because everyone i've talked to they're like what you don't like thanksgiving this, this, this. i'm like i don't i don't like the food like i literally mm. eat mashed potatoes like <laughs> mashed potatoes i mean the only thing i do kind of enjoy it's not as fun anymore but like the parade i do like the parade it's not up to watch it anymore oh you used to watch the parade the parade's born to me i love it's just the vibe it's just like yeah. something to put on TV while you're cooking the turkey and doing all that fun stuff. Just mm, Thanksgiving has mm-hmm. never been like a thing for us. I don't know if it's because we just have like a lot of family all the time. I don't really remember. Yeah, because well, we obviously didn't really live around our family for most of our lives. So Even like mom Thanksgiving, said we went to nanas all the time for Thanksgiving when we lived in Arizona. Yeah, we did Cal- though. But I don't remember it. I, don't I do. Re- I don't remember. Th- I always remember Christmas time. I don't remember Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, it, it was just always a boring. I'm uh, not boring because it's as fun as what you make it. But I guess it just we got older. Like I feel like Thanksgiving's just like. I think Blah. it's more fun is Black Friday, but it's not Black Friday's not as fun anymore. Oh, that's everything's true. online. <laughs> Every, yeah, everything's online and like in stores. Now being around all those people like, is annoying. I was just about to say I don't like before I you would lines. catch Kiara Henry at the crowded Black Friday store just to be out there forcing myself with the we hot were, chocolate like it was cold as hell. Dude, we would always go to Black Friday shopping with our mom every Hall- Halloween, every Thanksgiving. It was our thing. It was so much fun. We'd get all dressed up even though it was we'd be sweating because it's not cold. Yeah. And we would like buy nothing because we would just like, we didn't care. The whole point was we wanted to just go to A, be past uh, midnight. <laughs> like yeah. out in public past yeah. midnight. And then B, just for the ambiance of it and get like hot chocolate we would buy stuff sometimes we'd buy like jeans and stuff but mom yeah. was just like it's just go to the base like everything else like there's always no tax so we we're just like it's basically what it is it wasn't even that like cheap or mm-hmm. anything but now cyber monday is what i'm on yeah i just don't like to go like if i, I don't want to wait in lines anymore wait lines, deal with like annoying people the people yeah who really <laughs> be, like honestly, spending money like honestly, I guess I'll just pay the full price. I don't even care. <laughs> yeah, so maybe I'll do like electronics, but like online. Cyber Monday. You know what I mean? Or like Prime Day. And honestly, everything on Amazon is cheap anyway. Yeah, but back to Thanksgiving. Um, I just like the turkey. I always make the same thing: turkey sandwich. I make the rolls, rolls mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes turkey. and turkey. So I have to add some corn in there to spice it up. Yeah, I do the exact same thing, but I add. Um, I said I love Derek Small's mac and cheese. So oh yeah, mac and cheese. <sighs> some people don't do mac and cheese. Some people do do mac and cheese. Like I love. I just I don't like cranberries. I don't like stuffing. I don't like gravy. I don't like yam slash sweet potatoes because apparently they're different. They're not, but I know. I'm just saying. Apparently, oh they're different. yeah, everyone like they're different. Like, they're literally not. It's a, a, yeah, those are so potatoes. nasty. Um, yeah. So I, that's the only three things I eat. I feel like let's switch it up this year. Like, do we have to have a turkey because we have to follow what the pilgrims were doing? Pilgrims. Like, how about we do like you know barbecue or like something different for thanksgiving pizza <laughs> Some pasta pizza. you know what i mean like change it up yeah like, i guess just the whole <laughs> point kidding. is for the turkey that's the point of thanksgiving <laughs> um but i mean it's not written in stone gobble gobble bitches tony parents do ham too because tony doesn't like turkey like that ham. much so they do i'm ham. a part i'll go for the part i'll just go for the I'll, honestly I'll yeah, just, go to, for just the to dress up i don't know i like we, i want to do more on thanksgiving this year like i wouldn't mind like why going, don't you have don't know, it here day. you have plenty of room yeah and just have a th- the fam i don't want to cook oh i can, ha- Actually, I can help that's you no honestly you know, i can because we have cook. friendsgiving all the time every year we have friendsgiving and we always cook and it's fun and we did like christmas um and stuff but i, I guess it's like more fun when you're with your friend i don't know i don't hate uh, thanksgiving i'm not like i was just gonna say okay <laughs> you guys know i have more fun with you guys than anybody else but um uh, i don't know i guess i'm just kind of like uh thanks I, I don't hate it i'm not like it's the worst holiday no it does definitely worst holidays what's the worst holiday um official holiday because like I st patrick's um, day doesn't count i was ba- i was literally about to say st patrick's day <laughs> i mean i do like to drink i don't even know what that means it's just like drink. what is what are we celebrating on st Saint Saint patrick's? patrick's day i don't know Besides it's wearing green beer something for the irish that's all i know it's something for i think irish is don't irish you know. independent <laughs> laddie laddies <laughs> um i think it's is that culture appropriation <laughs> 
might want to cut that out. Maybe I'll I'll check if I don't think it is. I think Koi we did this last time. Is, we did. <laughs> Wait, is don't you know? Is that that's Irish? Irish? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think so. I will be shooting for my own hand. Okay, sorry, that's for let me know. I hate that movie. Um, but um, <laughs> I love that movie. I don't. I, I hate it because like, so I don't. Wouldn't say it's like the worst holiday because like I'm trying to think. Okay, let's go through the holidays really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then we need to wrap it up. Okay, really. I just want to say, so there's like New Year. We'll go in order. New Year's. New Year's, New Year's to me Day. is so underrated. I, I feel like New people Year's. are like, the best days of the month are start October to December 31st. I'm like, what about New Year's? Like, that it's is all, like the best no, holiday. It's from, Sept- it's from October through February because my birthday. So oh. it's like the first half. New Year's, I think, is like my <laughs> second favorite July. holiday. <laughs> It's like like my second favorite holiday. I love the I glamour love of it New all. Year's. I love the glitter, the dressing up, the champagne. Maybe you should have a New Year's party. I I know New Year's parties are iffy because a lot of people go with their family. Some people think it as it's a family holiday. Some, I don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And some don't. So like you have to just see with, with your friends. Were like, oh, do you guys? They're like, oh, we're going with their family. Family because it's like a family thing. And well, then some do, people go know, like, you know, I'll help decorate. I know some people like to travel. Speaking so. of decorating, you know what Kanisa said? If she follows through with it, her birthday. Oh, here we go. Her birthday theme. What? Twenty four karat. She turned twenty four. So we're gonna do all gold. We'll see. Yeah, and she we'll, wants to do we'll like she that. wants to do it in Austin, like how we did. We'll talk about that later. I just oh, with her actual friends or just us? No. So she was saying like either we do it like we'll get Airbnb in Austin and with mm-hmm. with her friends so we can knock two birds with one stone, or it would just be like <laughs> just so funny us, just us, and we can decorate the hotel, do like or Airbnb whatever we get, and be all like and actually go out this time, you know, oh, and like okay. we can all be in gold because it's like our twenty fourth, twenty four karat birthday theme isn't that cute that's, that's actually super cool. i wish i thought of that uh, me too you know what i did wear gold my 24th birthday it had gold balloons oh how old remember we went to our favorite place las cosecha and remember oh, i was did, like a long did, gold dress did. yes 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 mm-hmm. yes, yes. Okay, anyways back to new year's but i love no, new back year's to the holidays. i know <laughs> i love new year's it's one of my favorite holidays i think it's so underrated and people like overlook it and i hate when people don't dress up but whatever but let's um, just wrap it up okay because <laughs> I, I was gonna talk about the holidays but i feel I like what's next uh think of uh, no, valentine's day okay you know what <laughs> else cares so it's gonna go new year's and then valentine's day slash Kira's birthday and Lando's birthday, birthday and Derek's, Derek's birthday, birthday and Grandma's birthday, <laughs> and Mama's birthday. <laughs> um anyway, i love valentine's day i, I hate the idea of people hating valentine's. it i just like being I showered wish, with gifts i wish people threw valentine's day parties like Let's do it <laughs> i know like keep volunteering your house <laughs> <laughs> like on the weekend or you know the weekend before because obviously like valentine's the, day well not just galentine's but just valentine's like in general and i know like obviously the day of people you know hang out their stuff together or whatever but like the weekend before after is it could be cute because it's like you just like red everyone gets, where it looks all nice the like heart and pink yeah the balloons it'd be like super throw cute it, sis. i have to throw lano's birthday party the same month so it's a lot of money oh true because if okay. i throw a party i want to throw a party i don't yeah. want to just have wine and cheese night because i want to decorate yeah even then i would want to like put out a whole charcuterie yeah, but like make yeah, it nice make but cute little uh, but anyway let's go so someone should throw one that's all i'm saying um, um and, and then, then there's me too and then <laughs> and there's st patty's day st patrick's day and then i May, don't know Cinco what that's for. oh we m- Cinco to what <laughs> <laughs> i try to keep going so you didn't say so you call me out so I try to keep going. Cinco to Mike go. <laughs> okay what is that uh uh no i, I forgot because i skipped april what's in april easter mom's birthday well i know mom's birthday i forgot about easter march uh, yeah so st patty's day then easter but that's not celebrated by everybody so um and then Cinco de mayo, Cinco de mayo. and then nothing in june besides juneteenth that's oh. like the only quote-unquote holiday juneteenth that's it's it. just nothing and then fourth of july <laughs> arbor day i think is in august uh there's nothing, nothing in august, august nothing in september, september. And then, and then halloween and then so june and, and Christmas. Uh, june august september like three bir- i mean i guess labor day oh yeah labor September. day oh memorial day is also in may is in may yeah um i think Cinco de Mayo trumps that <sighs> really memorial day you're off of work so oh, people throw true. memorial day parties all the time i just don't care for memorial day so oh what so is that's that? a day for remembrance but okay <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, remember our fallen troops um <laughs> you're right you're right <laughs> i love memorial day because Patriot's it's like day, a president's day Martin veterans King. day yeah. <laughs> Well, no, memorial day is like kind of fun because it's like it's just another it's, it's like day. a kickoff for the summer that's how i see it okay i can see that memorial day is yeah. like a le- it's uh fourth of july's little sister good way to see it yeah, that's, it's little, that's exactly what the same vibes little, i get because people like barbecue color. and yeah. stuff for the same colors and everything yeah um so the worst holiday 
<laughs> I think it's going to be honestly St. Patrick's Day or it, I don't know. I like St. Patrick's. I think St. Patrick's Day is more of like college time because yeah. everybody's doing like the pub runs and the drinking or like, like people who actually really throw celebrate St. Patrick's Day because they're college kids. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the worst like, holiday because once you get out of that stage, I mean, you could still go out to like a bar and stuff, but it's like in college, it was like an event, like St. Patrick's Day. And it was on the weekday most of the time. So like people would be like throwing parties or more green. So it's like fun. But when you're an adult, it's like, yeah, it's I would have to agree with you because like, I mean, like I said, I don't care for Labor Day. I don't care for those. But oh, I mean, I, l- I just love to have the time off. Yeah. So you know what it is? This is how I see it even though it's not how you said that um fourth of july is a big sister memorial is a little sister and then to me labor day is like their cousin yeah because they kind of do the same thing like water barbecue swim yeah hot and it's dogs. Like, cause that's the end the memorial kicks off the summer labor day ends, ends the, the summer, summer. yeah yes <laughs> we just crack the code <laughs> we just do this but they're not close enough to where they're related so that's why labor day they're is like cousins. their cousin yeah, yeah. And then, like and then for and then july is like you know she's the she's summer the girl. she is summer she is that even though girl. we don't like her we don't like america <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think on that note, let's go ahead and end that note there. We just gave you guys a brief we history of said, holidays. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how we were starting with fall, but we ended with summers. So. <laughs> we made it exactly in a full circle because technically we're still in summertime. But um, this was really fun. This was lovely. Yeah, we're a fun time over at this podcast. Yeah, this, I love to say this has been lovely. This has been lovely. Um, make sure you guys are checking out our socials because like i said things are popping up mm-hmm. we got things going on for here um so make sure you guys comment like subscribe here on the youtube channel i guess our engagement mm-hmm. is going up so we love that for us we're we're trying yeah we got we got these stuff. right here we just let you know we're down for business yeah <laughs> we're here for business okay let's get down let's, let's get, get down, down to business. business um but yeah so make sure you like comment subscribe tell your friends about mm-hmm. us like i said we're a fun time share share your like, stories yeah exactly tag us and things. tag us because sometimes i see people put on their story and they don't tag me yeah, and i don't know we get tag them. us in it like literally like put our things that way we can see it mm-hmm. so we can repost it and that also helps us out as well mm-hmm um follow our tiktok yes follow our tiktok i'll have that the down below TikTok. <laughs> it should be just do use this podcast so make sure you follow mm-hmm. our tiktok over there and um yeah i make sure to leave a comment and a five-star review but only if it's five stars because it's not you're lying <laughs> that's like my favorite catchphrase it's, it's like cute. you're lying <laughs> you're literally no it's it, no if you don't like, give us a five you're literally, literally are you're literally because we are lying. so funny like this is a funny episode like i can maybe stomach for for the unprofessionalism <laughs> <laughs> but if it's lower than that it's like you're literally lying or trying to be it, no girl. you're literally no, trying to be, be a pick me girl like, like i didn't like I, this podcast i need like yeah no y'all are just being a hater and haters aren't fun you're drinking that hate raid okay um gatorade does not good right now but you know what we should we i should remember the last something. time i've gotten gatorade and i used to drink it all the time are we going to target are we yeah, going to go target time? it's 2 30 but oh, I, still wanna go, I still want to go to the goodwill okay let's do like let's, let's wrap it let's up wrap, we can start up. going Before um <laughs> <laughs> for the door our daily plans but anyways guys thank you so much we're here we're back we're ready to we fixed up our studio because we moved to a different studio yeah we moved we have like i said <laughs> we, we have our mic studio. we're doing it we're doing mm-hmm. it like we're gonna try to be more professional with our stuff yeah so we are excited for the things up to come we have a lot <laughs> planned for october and we're gonna do i think more filming content because i think people like to see us more than just hear us um, yeah and so we have a lot of things planned for filming and we're just really excited excited to see what the end of the year brings so we can start season three next year yeah, yeah. season three yeah i think i'm gonna figure out what <laughs> yeah yes okay but i need to figure out what um do something special for our 100th episode yeah okay um but again guys thank you so so much for watching and um whether you love fall or if you think it's overrated just always remember to do you sis